My name is uh, G.S. Raju. I'm on faculty at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, Houston. It's uh, truly a great privilege uh, to answer the questions by video blog. Here is a question from Monica. Let's take a couple of seconds to read this question and then we can discuss this topic further. Monica's question is whether polyps will come back or not. And uh, this boils down to how do we follow up somebody who has had polyps removed from the colon. It's important to appreciate that everyone with polyps removed from the colon needs a follow-up examination based on the findings of the previous colonoscopy. In terms of the timing of the colonoscopy, we look at several different issues. The first and foremost is the quality of the preparation and the quality of the examination. Number of polyps removed, size of polyps removed, the technique used to remove the polyps, and what did the pathologist say about those polyps. Excellent colon preparation and a complete examination of the colon are critical for colonoscopy to be effective in the prevention of colorectal cancer. This is an example of an excellent uh, preparation. Here you can see the colon free of any stool, shiny, healthy mucosa with blood vessels seen traversing to the mucosa. And one should be able to go all the way to the beginning of the colon, identify the opening of the appendix, document it with a photograph, and also document the opening of the small intestine joining the large intestine, the ileocecal valve. And as one comes down, take time to screen the colon all the way to the end of the colon or the rectum. Say, for example, somebody who has had polyps in the past, removed, had those polyps removed, and now comes in for an examination, but no polyps were found at this examination, then the next step should be colonoscopy in about five years. On the other hand, if someone had colon polyps removed, what should be done? It depends upon the size of the polyps, the number of the polyps, and the technique used to remove the polyps, whether the entire polyp was removed in one piece or in bits and pieces, and what did the pathologist say about those polyps. Say, for example, someone had two small adenomas removed from the colon, then the next exam should be at five years. Three to 10 adenomas in three years. More than 10 adenomas removed, then we should be within three years, typically done at one year. Provided none of these polyps have any advanced features. If polyps have advanced features, such as a large polyp, more than a centimeter in size, Pathologist reports vellus adenoma, that is a type of architecture, the way the cells were lining the lined on the polyp. And if the pathologist reports that the cells were immature, in other words, high grade dysplasia, then with all these advanced features, the next colonoscopy should be at three years. Provided that polyp was removed in one piece completely. If the polyp was large and it was removed in pieces, there is a concern for incomplete removal. In all such cases, one should repeat the colonoscopy within six months after the previous examination. So let me give you some resources that are available at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center for you to look at, read, or watch the videos and learn more at a casual pace. 
So if you come to the home page of the MD Anderson Cancer Center and you type in I have polyps in the search bar at the right upper corner it leads you to this page and if you click on I have colon polyps now what it takes you to this excellent resource it's a video uh, which uh, helps you understand about types of polyps and what to do in terms of the follow-up. Monica, hope this is helpful and I hope uh, you could share this information uh, with your dad. Thank you again for posting this uh, question. Thanks.